platform. I want to bring in Savannah Mayor Van Johnson, uh, Mayor Johnson in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, well, good to see you again, sir. Uh, not under these we circumstances. Have meeting, we have to stop meeting like this. Yes. But uh, tell me uh, about your preparations and what you're experiencing already. Has the brunt of the storm begun uh, to hit you all in Savannah? Well, we have, and our hearts certainly go out to those, our friends in, in Florida um, and in South Georgia that are being impacted. Um, we start off with rain and wind. It's a low now. Uh, we know that our impacts will really start coming this afternoon. The uh, conditions here will deteriorate as the day goes on. Um, between 5 and 10, um, we're expecting it to be over us. Uh, and again, um, obviously, we're very concerned about the wind. Um, we're already under a hurricane warning, a storm surge warning, um, always very dangerous. Um, yeah, Low-lying land like Savannah. Uh, your governor, Governor Brian Kemp, gave an update in the last hour. Let me just play part of what he had to say. Most of the people across the state of Georgia will not feel the impact of the storm, but for those that were in uh, the, the line of the storm, it is very hard hitting, and uh, we're certainly watching that as it continues to move through the state. We had multiple counties in the affected area that are seeing winds in the 70 to 80 mile per hour and some gust up to 90. We know by radar it looks like we may potentially have in some areas 9 to 10 inches of rain. The good thing is this is a narrow storm and is very fast moving, so it's not sitting on us and dumping uh, even more rain than that at one time. And Mayor Johnson, do you have all the resources that you need so far for, for what you anticipate to be this emergency? Well, so we, we, we practice for this all year long. We know that from June uh, to December, we have enhanced um, uh, activity in our environment. So we, we prepare for that. We train for that. Um, and so we're okay for, for the best that we can do. We have to wait till it actually comes. We're asking our residents to hunker down, uh, ride this out. Uh, not to go anywhere if they absolutely don't have to. And then we'll assess after the storm has passed. As the governor said, it is a fast moving storm. It is uh, somewhat narrow in scope, but the narrow in scope goes right over Savannah. Um, so we're very concerned about the impacts as it relates here. There's a king tide uh, expected as well. And so we're surrounded by water. So we're also very concerned about the flooding impacts. Well, we'll be thinking of you, and uh, the best of luck as everything heads your way. Thank you so much, Savannah Mayor Van Johnson. And Thank joining you, us now, uh, you bet. And we're now going to Charleston, South Carolina, and Mayor John Tecklenburg. Mr. Mayor, thanks for being with us. Uh, what are you anticipating there as Idalia heads your way? So we're expecting our impacts mostly overnight. And so our advice and plead to our citizens is just stay home tonight, stay safe, and uh, this will pass in the morning. In fact, uh, normally when a storm passes through, you get beautiful weather afterwards. If you look at our forecast for the upcoming Labor Day weekend, it's going to be beautiful here in Charleston, our beautiful historic city. So uh, we're very resilient because, uh, like Mayor Johnson, uh, we're well rehearsed. We've experienced a name storm on average once a year for the last eight years. And so uh, I wouldn't say um, we're experts at this, but we are well prepared. And uh, with the category one uh, or tropical storm, we are prepared uh, for the worst, but hoping for the best and thinking of the folks down in Florida and lower Georgia who are even seeing worse impacts. Um, what kind of winds are they telling you to prepare for? So we'll be right in the 70 mile per hour range uh, gusts this evening, but it should again be at midnight to three o'clock in the morning. We're hoping everybody will stay out of harm's way. The main concern we've had uh, in Charleston from the start was the fact, and, and Mayor Johnson mentioned this, a king tide. And when it happens twice in one month, by the way, it's a blue moon tide. So this week we have blue moon tide and uh, that uh, confluence of the extra high tide along with the storm, the rain, the wind, particularly when it's pushing water from the Atlantic up into Charleston Harbor is a recipe for flooding. We have flooding and have to close streets even on a king tide when there's no tropical storm. So that's been our main concern all along. 
Do you have you have the equipment that you need and the manpower, person power? For for this level storm, we do. If if this had been a three or four, of course, it'd be a whole nother matter. But um, we we are well equipped. We've been uh, providing sandbags to our citizens. We've been cleaning uh, drains out. We've been putting pumps in place and strategic locations to help with drainage. Uh, we have high water uh, rescue vehicles with our fire department. We're uh, ramped up with personnel, both on public safety and uh, maintenance. So uh, we're, we're ready for, uh, for what comes tonight. Uh, you gotta watch and see what happens and then respond in the morning. Thank you.